Hello, this is John Ormsley and thank you very much for jumping on this training video today. Before we get started, I'd like to run through the disclaimer. I'm an independent affiliate. I'm not employed by anyone to create this video. As a crypto enthusiast, I've created this video to help people understand certain processes that they may want to undertake. This video is for educational purposes only and you should validate the information contained in it as it can change very fast in this space. I hold no responsibility for anyone using the video to enable them to do the process and any subsequent loss as a result or misunderstanding or a process change. I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not able to give you financial advice. So we've registered with Bit4X and um, what do we do now? So if we go down to go deposit, this is where we can actually choose to deposit Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, anything that they want. So for this exercise, I'm going to show you how to deposit Bitcoin. So when you select Bitcoin, it brings up a wallet address. Now this wallet address is for your trading exchange. I've copied the wallet address and now I'm going to start up my Trezor, uh, which is where I have most of my crypto in a cold wallet stored away. So I'm going to start up the Trezor and once that's running, I should be able to send $100 to this platform. So first off, it's asking me to connect. So just bear with me whilst I connect this. OK, so that's now connected. So we go to accounts. I've got my Bitcoin account here and I'm going to send. So I'm going to paste the address in I got earlier and I'm going to move over to the US dollars and I'm going to put in there 100 US dollars because that's what I want to send. That's what Bruce asked us to send. So that's um, that's what we're going to step step as. So with the Trezor, it's going to ask you to, um, with the Trezor, it actually asks you to confirm it on the Trezor before it sends anything through. So I'm going to review and send. Now this sends a message to the Trezor itself to send to you. If you haven't got a Trezor, there's other ways that you can do this without a problem. Um, but once it's actually been authorized on the Trezor, you will see that this block comes up as um, ready to send. So it's all set, ready to send. So we send the coins and we've just got to wait for this transaction to go. So just viewing the details up there of the transaction going through. And after this was, um, I think, 30 minutes or so, what happened was I went back to Bit4X and the deposit came through after yeah once I'd refreshed the deposit came through and I think it only took about 30 minutes for this to to come through so that's been sent through that's now sat in my wallet ready for the price maker challenge to buy up some um, G triple nines that are below the price that we've actually wanted so once again thanks for watching and watch out for the next video take care